just wanted to send a quick little video. It's a little bit early since we just started working together, um, but I figured you'd want to kind of see her moving around, making sure she's okay. Um, so the, the main focus this week has really been on um, establishing a response to the markers that I use to shape behaviors and really just using those to build really nice engagement. Um, a marker is a cue or sound that marks a moment in time that I like something and that's going to then announce the arrival of food for her. Um, so over time, when she does something that I like, I can mark that moment in time. It bridges the gap between you did that and here's a reward for that. Um, so then that behavior will then take on the good feeling of food. So I have a couple different markers that I will use that kind of help her understand expectation within each behavior. So um, the word yes means <laughs> I like what you did, come get food from me. So that's essentially the end of the paper. She can stop what she's doing and come take something from me. Um, and I really use that one to build enthusiasm and behavior. So that's the main one I use in the beginning as I'm um, luring her into behaviors. Yes, um, just to kind of show her like right away, you're gonna get something from me. Um, then we have the words good and okay and no, those are gonna be our duration markers. So later when I when I ask her to, for example, sit, um, when she goes into that sit, I'll say, good, pay her, I'll bring food to her. Um, and then I can continue to do that good, depending on how she needs it, uh, as far as frequency goes. If it's something where she's wanting to pop up out of behavior, I will, good treat, good treat, good treat. Or with her, she's a lot more mellow. I can say, good treat, a little bit of space, good treat. Um, and then, okay, means she can come up out of behavior. Right now, I'm paying her for that okay because I want her to understand that she can get up out of behavior, but eventually it's gonna be more of a neutral release, meaning she can go be done with what she was doing. Um, because she is a little bit more, I don't wanna say nervous, but definitely kind of um, anxious a little bit, a little bit. Um, I've been using that word good. I've been killing two birds with one stone and I will wait till she looks up at me because I can play around with that with her because she's more patient. Every time she makes eye contact with me, I say good and then I give her that treat. So it's inadvertently creating really good engagement, putting value and checking in with me. So right now it's a very, we're in just the training room um, and there's not a lot of going around and I'm doing it while she's stationary. As we progress, we'll go into new environments and ask for that engagement. We will do it around distractions and, and while she's moving and things like that. Um, I'm not really worried about the word no just yet because I want to make sure she actually understands what I'm asking for before I tell her she can't do something. That doesn't really seem fair. Unless it's something where just across the board she's never allowed to do that, jumping up on the counter or whatever. She hasn't done, done any of that, but um, that would be kind of the exception to that. So um, she's doing really well overall. Um, Again, working on that engagement, um, slowing things down so that she can come out of her shell a little bit and remain in certain behaviors to help build impulse control and confidence within each behavior. Um, I'm happy with where she is so far. She's super sweet. So like I said in the email, the biggest thing is that she'll, when she's out in the yard, if you're leaning up on that, we have like a little yard divider, she'll come up and just like jump up and stand on your shoulders. So that's, I mean, We'll work that out of her. So I think she's definitely one of those dogs that kind of like really craves attention to help her feel better. So um, we'll do a lot of confidence building things. There's, I know this thing doesn't follow me around right now, but I have like uh, A-frames and wobble boards, things that she can accomplish and I can make a really big deal about it. So it boosts her confidence and makes her excited about doing things. So hopefully that will help with her, with her confidence. And it could just be that she just needs a little bit more time to decompress here. Maybe she's not a nervous dog at all, um, but here she's just a little bit more like very, very aware of her environment. But yeah, she's doing good, right? Yeah, good girl. All right.